have another question here and it says, how did you learn transactional data analysis? Are there any other learning resources you recommend for us? So part of the reason I focus on transactional data analysis is because there are so many talented, brilliant analysts who are doing other types of work that from a consulting standpoint, there's no reason for me to compete with those people. I mean, it's, it's, it's foolish for me to compete against 100,000 other smart people when I can focus on something that is very useful for executives and is something that I've been spending the past 30 plus years working on. So I don't know that there are a lot of other resources I would trust. There's, there's, um, there's a person named Arthur Middleton Hughes. And so this guy is old school, older than me. Um, he wrote a lot of database marketing stuff back in the 90s and early 2000s. And a lot of the things that I'm talking about here borrow from concepts that he wrote about. There's a book um, from a person who's now deceased. His name is Don Leiby. He wrote a 400 page book on recency, frequency, and monetary analysis. And while that technique is ridiculously simple and is you know, a very old school concept from the 1980s, how he connects what an executive is looking for and how an executive would think about these things to that old school concept, those, kind, those ideas all link together with transactional analysis. And so I'm not so concerned about doing the transactional analysis the way I have prescribed it, as much as I am that you are going into the actual purchase transactions doing analytics, and then you become a bridge and you're gonna tell a story that connects to an executive team. Um, I was on a Zoom call yesterday with a person who's an executive at a company and he said that he has all the analytics people that he could possibly want. He said not a single one of them is able to communicate to his team in a way that causes his team to take action. And so, that is where I'm kind of coming from on this is I wanna see you take these concepts and then work on the communication side of things so that you have a better chance of getting your executive team to do what you're asking them to do because you're actually finding out why your business is succeeding or failing and you have all the smarts, you have the answers. It's just a matter of how, how to communicate that to somebody else. If you want more expert insights like this, subscribe to our channel.